Dr. McCleary, can you talk about the relationship between obesity and brain health? I think that's something that people don't quite understand yet. Well, I think uh, we're all in the midst of an obesity epidemic, and we are also in the midst of an Alzheimer's disease, memory loss, neurodegenerative uh, brain disorder epidemic. And the most common dementing disorder is Alzheimer's, and five million Americans are afflicted with that. And that's expected to quadruple in the next 20 or 30 years. And the question is, how are the two related? And I, I believe that there's data coming out that shows that one is related to the other. If you're obese, you have four times the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. If you're diabetic, you have three or four times the risk. And most adult diabetes is related to obesity. So uh, brains and bellies really are connected. So a lot of it's diet, even maybe mental health and things like that can be related to diet. We've you know, heard a lot of things about the connection between the two. Is that the case, do you think? Well, I think that uh, there was an interesting study that I read about that came out of Toronto recently where uh, Roger McIntyre, who's a psychiatrist at the University of Toronto, treated some depressed patients with intranasal insulin. Now, that's never been done before. He treated a bipolar group and they improved. That study still has to be published. This was just preliminary data. But what he noticed many years ago that piqued his interest was that many of his depressed parent patients were overweight or obese. And when that happens, insulin and glucose metabolism is abnormal in their bodies. And now it's felt that the same is true in their brains, hence the intranasal insulin therapy and the connection between diet obesity and brain health.